A L A N E P A Scenes own Carson Daly. House Ghost Phil Kowski. Yeah. Phil Kowski. Yeah. And tonight, we're here with A L Phil Kowski. Got that? Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> So, yeah, man. It's been a while. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello. Welcome <clears throat> to the Beyond the Break podcast. Let me change our background to Kaplow. There we go. There we go. How you doing, Johnny? I'm doing good. It's Johnny. I didn't just have Tourette's before this episode. Avocado. Pinti. Avocado. Avocado. Guacamole. Yes. <laughs> ah, holy crap i was not expecting that that's awesome um oh ooh, there's wow. another one there's a third you can't see it yeah and it's, you're just doing it too fast for the camera it's to too it quick too quick so dude we've got steez on today man steez pa man one of my faves he's awesome dude he's awesome such a good guy he's yeah and like, i didn't know like his dad was actually steez too you know, that was uh, going to be one of my His grandfather. I didn't mean to. I blew it. My bad. Uh oh. Yeah, I was going to ask. We'll we'll find out. We'll find out. Great grandfather, Steez. Steez. That's interesting. But anyway, so we've got Steez coming on. Uh, he's an audio engineer, uh, producer, makes beats, loops, etc. cetera. Uh, really, really awesome guy. Uh, like we were saying, he actually, uh, one of the places he works at is Encore Studios, which is uh, one of our very, very... Was just close, there today. Close friends. Oh, yeah. What were you doing up there? Secret. Super secret. Super secret stuff. I like it. I almost fell asleep on the new couches. They were really nice. Yeah. What do you think of the floors? They got some mm. badass floors in there. Oh, yeah. it's so nice. It's almost, looks almost so almost glad good. it flooded. Yeah, yeah, but I think it was like, uh, you know, as much as it sucks, I think it it kind of like forced them to like do upgrades, and so it's kind of like, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a silver lining kind of thing, type yeah. of thing, you know, like the silver lining is that now they've got this like much. I think it's like like it was awesome before. Now it's like even more awesome. It's um, I love it. I didn't get to go in the other room, but I will next time. Yeah. Um, so like I was saying, Steez is, uh, our guest today. And, uh, as always, we're going to be playing some music for you to check out. Um, the first one, uh, Steez did not produce. However, he did, uh, record, mix and master, uh, the track and the video was actually shot directly next door to Encore Studios, which they are actually expanding into. And uh, them, along with myself, we're putting a video studio in there. So there's some really, really cool stuff happening. But, uh, Johnny, do you want to uh, introduce this song? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, boy. Oh. oh, my God. Can you... Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. So, oh so this this song is uh, called "Dance with the Devil," and it's by Take Yours. Oh my God! And then it was. Come dance with the devil, my. Yeah. Come dance with the devil, my feet hot. Pussy, you think you strapped up here? We not. Like. Take it back to the day you shot your brother And you try to blame snitching on your mother You was working for the D's and undercovers And for that, I'ma really make you suffer Shut them up, throw them in a duffel Throw them in a lake, I forgot the shovel Turn your face into pieces of a puzzle I'm a dog off the leash, fuck a muzzle And it's SPD gate to the day I die Shot a gun in the body, it made him cry Tears falling down, yelling, I'll take this tie I'm scared, but if my brother dies, so he's good Roll up, you get small like this wood You easy, pussy, I'm shook And your dad got them eggs, so we cut Damn See, I almost caught a charge For a small life when I'm living large I shine from far, I'm a star Fall doors, fall poles about the car Hating on me, don't know who they are Strapped up, I'm ready for this war If you hot, we come and kick it doors Fuck it, everybody on the floor Damn, that's a man down Seen that boy at a function, he ran out How the fuck you was up with your hands out Just for thinking you hot, you get fed down Premeditated, when I walk in the spot, y'all know they hate it Do this shit for my daily motivated Y'all kill for my brothers, we not related huh? Can't wait till the day that we catch you Crack 
up in your head like a cashew When you see me freeze up like a statue Like father like son, ain't he rat too? Damn, he a CIG I think it's time for him to D.I.E. Walk in the spot, I'm the VIP Love the way I talk, they wanna be like me Yeah, that's why PC huh. Yeah, that's why PC Young paper chaser, been a model Applying pressure, popping like a bottle The F on this bitch, stand for full auto Bitch, I'm a leader, never like to follow This 40 on me, this whole feel of hollows Move wrong again and you won't see tomorrow Shells flying, aiming for your taco Like, huh. come dance with the devil, my feet hot Come dance with the devil, my feet hot. Come dance with the devil, my feet hot. Look, and Kappa, you a Kappa. That's an e-slapper. Talk about free the gods, what you told on a little dirty bastard. Lily ain't stick to the code. Said he was solid, he told. And did it clip and reload. No guilt, take his soul. I'm back at it like a crack addict. It's not adding up to the mathematics. They be so quick to go backstabbing them post for you like that's valid. That's bitch shit. They don't say shit. I'm a can't shake it, how can a witness go and flip shit? Take back a statement and switch it When I catch him, it's game over Running through sticks like a Range Rover You know what it is, it's a takeover Try to give me face like we play poker Count my tips when the day's over You not my bitch, you can't stay over I've been laying low, gotta lay low Oh shit, your bitch, your brain blow Yo, homie, I thought you was gangster He gon' be a rapper, some prankster Cause when I pop out with the bangers That's when you really in danger And I'm outside, so don't be a stranger Put the pole to his neck like a hanger Bring the beat to your table like waiter Tell your fan that you won't see him later yeah, come dance with the devil, my feet hot. Come dance with the devil, my feet hot. Come dance with the devil, my feet hot. Yeah, look, come dance with the look. And me, Dicky, you catch 50. Get with me, I cause the violence in my city. When we catch that man, it's litty. Like, we gon' set him up. Might send a bitch to go and set him up. Anywhere he at, we gon' let him up. We ain't letting up on shit. Huh? That's what in my kid. Like, it is what it is, it's fucking let me find out when you play We gon' slide through with six flicks, like That's 300 shots, better go and find a nice two in time Make sure it masked the box Told bro to shoot, he passed the rock Wasn't your time, I'ma smash the clock After that, sit back and watch Jack, they ain't snitch, but they told a lot Like, shit, they jack, they ain't snitch, but they told a lot That was awesome. Holy crap. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm dude. I'll take it. <laughs> Jeez, man. Good job. Welcome to uh to the podcast, man. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, 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 man. Um, I really like that mix. I really liked how like uh the backup vocals yeah. was just like it was just perfect, man. Just enough perfect. to keep the energy rolling. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. So that was uh that was badass. Um this guy local or uh like yeah yeah he, he's he's directly from scranton oh really wow that's, yeah, that's cool. vocals i like that's oh uh my boy that's in the chat my boy in the cigar room yo <laughs> <laughs> um yeah dude that was awesome um so yeah. you did that at encore right mm -hmm. um how long does like a mix like that take you usually like did he already bring his beats and and you had to so Put the puzzle together specifically with that artist uh specifically with that artist he'll he usually comes in and we'll set up like a five hour session and we'll get probably eight to ten songs ready to post eight. in that five hours wow so yeah. he, he, comes, he comes ready with beats. that's he good, comes ready man. with beats but i do uh i do have some work with them in the summer planning on getting a little ep done but uh other than that, yeah, we, me and him work really, really, really fast. <laughs> nice, nice. So, um, so Steez, where, Good. where do you get your, uh, your name from Steez? Cause that's not your real name, right? No. So, so people that don't know, my government name is Michael Smith. And that's like, that's my, that's just like average, you know, I can't be. Okay. All right. Well. I, I can't, what I can't, I can't. Grandfather Steez. No, no, I heard you guys really. No, all right, so here we go. So <laughs> I got an average name, you know, average name. Can't be average when I want to do something not average. So I was growing up in North Scranton and 
the North Scranton crew of kids that I hung around, we were all like skaters, bikers, scooter riders, you know, that was like my crew. And it was the era of like rock and metal for my teenage group. And uh, so we were all like skaters and scooters. And there was this group where one one of our friends came up with, let's be uh, a group called Steezy with a Y, like Steezy, no E-Y. And so that stuck and we were all like scooting and skating as kids and that was it. And then it started to pan out and it was more of, to me, it was more of like a, like my personality, like Steez is like something like chill, calm, like nonchalant, but like elegant and, and, and whatnot. So uh, for, for, for those that are, uh, yeah, put that back up, please. Uh, those uh, that are only, you know, audio only, um, we got a comment from Kyle, who's uh, one of our uh, cinematographers on the team. He says, Mike Smith sounds like a witness <laughs> protection name. And yeah, guys, uh, I'm, I'm more from more from another country. <laughs> Yeah. You know, but you know, our other cin- cinematographer, love the guy, uh, but but he's got two first names. His his name is Brian David. You know, so uh, <laughs> you know, um, um. So anyway, so Steez, uh, so you're born, raised Scranton, then, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right on, man. Um, so. You know, before we get going into like all the, you know, nitty gritty production stuff, you know, um, I want to throw this out there. You and I and two others are uh, starting our own other venture, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. That's right. So, uh, so Steez, myself, uh, <clears throat> Thurman and uh, Bob from Encore um are coming together and putting together a internet radio station or is this one better i don't know which which one do you like more? <laughs> what, what do you guys uh, like you got to vote for us yeah uh white background or black background put it in the comments which one do you like more yes um so you know with that being said we are uh here soon going to be uh asking for submissions we only want to work with uh you know underground if you will non-mainstream music uh mostly from this area i know that uh white background cool i know that uh you know we we may not have enough i think we'll have enough material just from an epa personally just because i've, I've seen what's out there well, there's a lot out here. It just you know, needs right. to get heard. That's um, but but if we need to, you know, we'll we'll reach out to like uh you know farther reaching areas still in Pennsylvania, kind of maybe do the big break thing and like reach into New York and New yeah. Jersey a little bit as well. Definitely. Um <clears throat> but yeah, so just wanted to uh give everybody a uh a little little thing to look forward to here. Um so let's come back to the the production bit um so you've been you've been doing this for about eight years right yep. roughly Give yeah roughly roughly um and uh so that's that's a lot of experience um and throughout those eight years uh i'm sure you've picked up a lot of uh a lot of skills with like software and hardware mm-hmm. and things like definitely that. yeah um, you learn quick so so you know i think eight years is a long you know is, is a long enough time to be able to uh see a change or a uh maybe a pattern of change you know mm-hmm. is there anything like that that you've seen in your in your eight years that's like yeah i can see it going this way or that way uh <clears throat> i would definitely say from when i started honestly uh I had no, no, I still don't have as much music theory as I would like to have. But when I started making music, you could tell there was no music theory. Everything just either the beat just got put together or the vocals just got slapped on the track. So coming from the song that we just listened to open the interview to what I used to do, that's that's the really big difference I tell. (laughs) Well, and you know, that's, that's progress, man. That's, you know, everybody starts somewhere. So, uh, yeah. you know, as, as a filmmaker, um, you know, there's, there's certain 
videos that I started off doing that I'm like, they will never see the light of freaking day. Yeah, no one will like, see that. Maybe some of my sucks. close, you know close, that from close the start, folks too. will see it, but mm, mm. Yeah. but yeah, everybody starts somewhere, you know. So that's 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 cool that you can see your own progression. That's always nice. That's like a, a motivator, you know. Yeah, you, I mean, you have to understand your problems in order to overcome what you need to do. Like in order to grow your your career, you need to overcome your problems you know right yeah absolutely um so so what are you editing or, or producing on now as far as uh software suite uh right now what i usually use <clears throat> well my baby basically i call it my baby is fl studio i started on it and ever since i started on it i just learned every little door back door crack every shadow that there was something hidden in. I learned everything on there. And to me personally, I don't see anything else usable for me that I can't do on FL Studio. So FL Studio gets it done, mixing, mastering, recording, making yeah. beats, everything. Um, so now the, the and I say quotes, you know, industry standard, right? Is Pro mm -hmm. Tools, is that, is that right? Still Pro Yeah, Tools. Pro Tools, or you'd want to be in something, a, a software that you probably wouldn't even want to look at a price tag on, <laughs> right. yeah, which is sure. movie See, making I'm, software. <laughs> right. So, so I'm, a, I'm an Adobe guy. So yeah. any kind of mixing, even mastering, um, recording, anything like that, um, I use Adobe Audition and yeah. I think it's great, you know, and I was, uh, you know, there's, there's been several times that I've visited on course studios and I watched you edit and I watched Bob edit, you know, yeah. and watching you guys edit on pro tools, like honestly makes me wonder why pro tools is the industry standard because it's missing so many features that other software does have yeah. you know what i mean and it's like it it's baffles me like who labeled it as an industry industry standard and why it's it's like it's like it's like saying name brand or uh, uh like gucci and louis vuitton clothes is the best best clothing but realistically it's just because of the name you know what i mean right. like I, that's what yeah, i see in I it which it is good i love pro tools when i use it but i i i still can't get a better sound than I do on FL Studio. So that's where I see I'm like, yeah. I remember uh, back in the Napster days, Napster, or what was the other one? Um, maybe I, it was Napster. Huh? You, you, you might be out of, out of my time frame. You have to remember, I'm only 20. The other one was Kazaa. Kazaa. Kazaa yeah. was music only, though, right? And then Napster was music, but you could also get software off of it no you could get anything off because uh napster was mostly music by the time because i was big napster was getting sued and shit but like they were all like oh, there was right. that that's there right. was frost wire there was a bunch yeah. of different pirate frost, bands frost wire. oh yeah wow. frost wire sounded a little familiar i think and then then yeah. torrents got big like where right. you just download basically like drives you know right right all right we'll see you well, never mind. Before I possibly incriminate myself for something I did, 50 yeah, years yeah, ago. yeah. We don't use those. Yeah, we don't use those. <laughs> we don't use uh, those. Yeah, um, I'm a recovering. I remember LimeWire. <laughs> LimeWire, yeah. I crashed my um, mom's computer. Right, because it was I like, like uh, 2010 the Lip, era Lip Biscuit, of Rammstein and Snoop Dogg uh, uh, combo song that you've never heard of and you're like, Oh, I'm going to download this. And now download your it. computer is telling you. Yeah. yeah you this actual the era, the era of viruses. It was so yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, never mind. I remember downloading a, like a demo of Fruit Loops or is it yep. Fruity Loops? I, no, well, that's the Fruity, Fruity, Fruity Loops. Yeah. Fruity Loops. So Fruit Loops it, it's Fruity Loops, Loops made by image line. That's, that's what it right. is. But uh, um, yeah, you, how you how you download it is you download their free trial and it's you use it forever, but you just activate it by signing in. That's how they work. Uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like uh, the Adobe, like how Adobe does it now. Yeah, you, you can't use the full. You can thing download it, but you know you ain't using it if you if you don't have a proper. Yeah, you got you got to get that key. You need the right. key. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. No, they don't even use keys anymore. No. You know, no, you just log in. If you've got a an account, oh yeah, the email your password, account. you're good. Right. Activate which, your product. Which the downside to that though is like you can't use the software if you don't have an internet connection. Mm -hmm. And you can't sign in. Right. And not that it matters that much, but like if if I'm traveling with my laptop and I've got pictures and I'm not like at a, you know, coffee shop or somewhere yeah. with, with Wi-Fi, you know, I'm kind of <clears throat> stuck, you know. But luckily um, with FL Studio is what I found is they, once you sign in, it's hard sign, like it's signed in to your user on your Windows or Mac, whatever you use. Mm -hmm. So it's always logged in no matter if you have internet or not. But uh, so that's what I work. I work when. I'm on vacations on the plane. I'll pull up FL Studio on my laptop and make beats for a couple hours, and then right. I'm in the next area. Speaking of, are you Mac or a PC guy? Uh, PC. I like Windows. Yeah. I never never grew on Mac. It's just the functionality was never there, and then now I just don't need it. Yeah. Um, I went to the Art Institute of Colorado for uh, – digital filmmaking and video production and we were forced to use uh max and yeah that's like a big school thing like college students like they yeah. love putting max in yeah them. it's it's almost as if they're like getting bought off to to push max yeah um and the and the biggest problem was like if i was doing something you know in one of the labs at school in their mm -hmm. computer labs having a you know a pc at home and a mac at school yeah, i had to have a special work. hard drive that was formatted a special way so i could read them yeah. both and it was just like this super pain in more the hassle ass. than having it, fun it and is. learning it is you know and but you know some people swear on max <laughs> i'm not gonna knock them you know no i'll knock them i don't like Mac. i hate them <laughs> rob, <sucks>. bob. Yeah, <laughs> bob. Bob Max comes right. in with the ah oh, yeah that's right Michelle Max boo that's right they have cool backgrounds <laughs> they work my like my phone <laughs> <laughs> they have no not. USB ports right yeah, you gotta pay extra for those on the side. yeah you um know. you have to charge with your dreams <laughs> um let's see so what's 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 your process like you know like if somebody in, comes up to you if if an artist uh you know a musician comes up to you and says hey i want to um i know i've got these lyrics i'm looking for like uh like a heavy or hard hitting bit you, you know yeah, like yeah. how does so, how does how does steez brain work so when what usually how i how i uh set up the template of breaking down what they need i'll start with okay let's see uh let's see their pre previous music that's before usually before i even answer them and i know i'll look at their previous music so i have a fresh mind on what they what they already sound like and then i'll get back to them and we'll figure out hey what do you need once they tell me what what they need i'll be like okay are you looking for this type of genre? Are you looking to make it sound like your previous song you just released? And they'll give me whether they want to sound like this guy or this exact song or this energy, whatever. And I'll collect all that info. And then basically what, what, the, whatever they tell me is already, it already clicked what I needed to make before I open up FL studio. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So, so yeah, like basically I just break down, they give me a, a list of what they like and how they want the song to sound or the beat, whatever the sound. Mm -hmm. And we'll start from there. I'll just open up FL Studio, throw something together, show them a preview and tweak it out from there. Nice. Um, have, have you ever had an artist say, like maybe trying to rebrand their sound? Yeah, you know, and like, like I want to try a new sound. Yeah, like, there's yeah, a yeah. lot of there's a lot of uh, actually recently there's there's a there's a handful of people looking to re recreate their sound to be more unique and capture something because I've been talking about it recently. Like this whole area is it's not dead, but there's nothing really standing out lately in this like in in any PA, and there's a lot of room for artists to 
be unique and grow off of that. So right. yeah, like recently there's a lot of artists that are looking to start something new and see what they could come up with. That's good. That's good. So, so what about you as far as like uh, beats that, that you make that are for yourself, you know, <laughs> something that, yeah. that you do just, just because you want to like, what's, what's, what's the style? <clears throat> what's, what's your go-to as far as producing? For me, man, honestly, uh, pr making beats came more as a, like a therapy to me. So making beats, I create how I feel, you know, like if I'm feeling angry, I'll make something that, you know, you can either scream or be really aggressive on with lyrics, you know what I mean? So, or if I'm in a happy mood or laid back mood, you know, that's the same way it goes for that. You know, it just, I make my beats depending on how I feel, but I typically do lean towards more like heavy drum, hard hitting, like you're gonna you know there's drums in the song and every time the bass comes in it's it's gonna shake this shake the speakers right out of the room <laughs> nice now do, do you, you ever make, make your songs own to ahead. buck to what's up do you ever make songs to buck to like you know you know uh think about the girl like hey they, in, I, listen this I is would on love live to do you know that, you know like, like, you, but i mean like if i had the opportunity i would do it for a girlfriend like I made this. Hey, they're, they're, What's up? Listen, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I have worked with some amazing, amazing local artists that do like to create some some unique sounds, and uh, there has been some good R&B songs. If I'm gonna be honest, there's there's been some solid ones. Some rhythm and buck. Yeah, some some rhythm and 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 <laughs> buck. <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, if that answers that, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's honey. me and my girlfriend love a good R and B song. It's a fair, it's a fair question. It's not, I, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, guys, look at my mom's in the chat. Baby, baby, make the music. Um, mom is here. Maybe she wants. Tolly. All right. Go back to bed. It's past your bedtime. Now, now, now I know who to uh, who to call. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to tell, <laughs> to say how proud they should be of of their little stees. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so his mom did. His mom did wave at you, though, Johnny. <laughs> she yeah, did. You wave. saw that wave. Yeah. <laughs> that was to you, Johnny. Johnny is a some 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 baby making baby making uh, beats. <laughs> baby making beats. The bunk beats. Or the buck beats. Um, sorry. Buck. <laughs> so. Buck. Well, do you do you make your own samples as well, or is that is that uh, something typically that typically how that works is if I want to keep the workflow fast, I use a lot of samples from other producers that focus on creating samples as the craft. Mm -hmm. So I do I do spend my uh, fair share of time and money to support those smaller producers that make good sample packs. I, so I do purchase off of producers. Uh, purchase their samples you know they'll give me whatever is in in the pack and i'll be able to make beats in five minutes instead of an hour creating my own stuff you know but have have you created your own uh yeah yeah there know, has there, i have i have a lot of uh my own unique and authentic uh beats that i do make but everything that i work on recently has been live in the studio on yeah. on site so it's been i only have 20 minutes to make three beats you know <laughs> right 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 i got you so yeah. so for the samples that you do make um or have in the past yeah. uh do you have those anywhere that that other uh producers can can buy off you or so i've had a long not i wouldn't say a war but i had a long war with myself on creating a store and keeping a store up to date and then rebranding and making a new store that never came. Mm. So unfortunately, purchasing uh, purchasing online without contacting me has been an issue in the last year or two that I haven't been up to date with, unfortunately. But uh, the, anybody that contacts me, I do always give them direct deals, direct rates and prices for whatever they need. And that's usually how I've been working since all of my engineer work is direct at the studio. That's where it all relates to. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, 
yeah let's let's talk later about that and, and we'll see if we can come up with something for you i cool, think cool, there's cool. there's there's some options out there that i can are you on rap chat rap chat or like beats uh beats i have a track i have i have a uh a, a, a track chain it's like a it's a website for just producers and uh that that's a, like an exclusive producer website so that's uh for artists looking for for beats that's basically the place to go for all producer only no nothing else nice. but uh I'll have, I'll have to find the link let me I'll, I'll search for that while we're in here and i'll get it to you before we're out drop it in um, somewhere actually I'll, I'll give you a few minutes right now if you want to tell us a little bit about uh bruce banner cool cool cool, cool. definitely uh bruce banner that was an old not too old but a little bit old song that's, that I did. that's the, i'm sorry uh, to, to interrupt you but bruce banner isn't that like a uh like a devil's lettuce strain honestly i did not name the song so His i cannot mom is on me. oh i can't answer the question <laughs> but uh unreal there's there's that um, answer um did i just throw you under the bus steez no hi robin robin Oh no, we can't we're, hear we you. Don't hear you. Nope. What? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you it's like a mime. Her, she's <laughs> mime. <laughs> anyway. Well, while while she's doing that, uh, tell us. Go ahead and tell me. Uh, tell tell us about Bruce Banner and this uh, this video. So, uh, oh, oh, wait, hold on. Go ahead, Rob. Just just a quick, uh, yeah, from your friendly neighborhood bud tender. Bruce Banner is a strain, and it is by Standard Farms in Pennsylvania. Hey. Whoa. Homegrown. Let's go. Thanks. Go Bruce Banner. Bruce and Banner. Burp. But, uh, all right. So go ahead, Steve. So basically, this was just like a, a an old song with a good friend of mine, uh, Methodonics. We've been working probably since the start of his career, couple, about five years now. Uh and local that guy song, too, said, yeah what's up local as well yeah local he's another local uh air, scranton area uh he uh he 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 would uh come to me we would record almost every every week and that ended up being like one of the songs he just wanted to take a little bit more serious and as you could tell that that on his page that was his first i think upload of a video and uh yeah, so that that song was pretty cool. We put some time into the studio, and he really focused in on his on his uh, his art and making sure he was up to par with what he wanted to do on the song. And we just we ended up coming to the studio that day, and I think it was only like an hour session. We ended really? up recording a song in under an hour, and I ended up spending my own time mixing and mastering after. But it was I would say in total like two hours. That song is all it took, and. Uh, he he got the video done on his own, and later the time came and it was posted, and that's what it ended up being. And I think yeah. it was a pretty cool song. The, the work came out cool, even from just that song to what he he just released an album. Uh, his work has by far took a a step forward, and we have some work coming very very soon once Encore Studios is up and running. Nice. So so go ahead, Steve, introduce the song, and we'll we'll play it. Uh, this is Bruce Banner by Meth Adonics. How? <laughs> Told me I should slide it when land. I did and I hit now she called me Bruce Banner I took her over to the Copacabana We fanned her while drinking the Fago and Fanta Arrived on the scene like I'm Tony Montana Right off the boat bringing them presents like Santa The Caltex, the Nazi, we bout to go blend them I had to turn that little nigga to a dancer Had to turn him to a dancer Stacking these checks I give ransom, hey Your mama she calling me handsome, hey Your sisters be singing my anthems, hey Making this money and dancing, hey In the pussy Danny Phantom, way. Make that shit throw a little tantrum, way. Shorty ride me like a tandem, hey Hold up, I'm switching my flow up these bitches who told me that I'll never blow up the reason I glow up They shook that a nigga when showed up and half of them said that we broke up They told me to grow up so I grab my pen and just roll up some traps and the amount of paper make them throw up ah. Roll up the rolling, they wanted some close-ups I told them if I'm not let me load up Switch. They told me I wouldn't amount in 
Christmas shit. Now, bitch, look how thick my jean pockets is. Ooh. Some swear that it's fake and I doctored it. But it's Christmas, it's gold in my stockings, which means I'm doing great living like Hobson is. Why be mad? Why you hate all my options, bitch? Okay. Ain't it sight, so you I lead the oxen, bitch? Yeah. You just mad cause I run out the auctions, bitch. All these niggas out here, they be toxic, bitch. Acting like they all winning like Cochran, bitch. They all rocking the bread, but no timing, bitch. So that forces my hand to go off the shit. Keep all the racks flowing and boxes in. Keep all the jewels running, no gossiping. I just guess that we different, no rocking with. Hold up, let me say it. Niggas who bitches or bitches who niggas, I swear I'ma keep getting bigger and shit. I told her to slide cause she thicker. Now she keep blowing my line like you have to go figure. You hating niggas need a snicker. Hi, you and you and you hungry while I'm getting richer. The business flowing like a river. Thought I was done with this shit until I pulled the trigger. It's real. Nice. PJ Dava. Is that is that who produced the video? Yeah, that's another uh I think that's a local. That's another local. He's from yeah. he's from the Scranton area as well, yeah, I'm pretty that's, sure. That's, that's a that's a sweet little uh little video there. It's really short. Um, you know, I was surprised about that. It's like two minutes long. It's like a that's, punk song, you know. <laughs> yeah, like rappers, man. It's with rap nowadays, it's so hard with our with my generation of kids and young adults. They're all, they're, 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 they don't listen to anything long enough if it's not perfect. So the only way to grab listeners anymore is really like two minutes max to a song, two and a half, like for rapping, honestly. But if like, obviously if it's a really big song, you'll want like four minutes, two verses, three hooks, you know? I wonder if that's a, uh, if, if that's kind of a product of vine and uh, TikTok and now you know youtube has even has uh shorts the, reels everything right right yeah. Yeah. facebook attention uh, spans are and so yeah that's that's right. the word i look for the, ten, right. the attention span or attention span is really bad yeah which sucks for me because i'm like i'm a long form yeah you're you're a, you're a you're a storytelling guy yeah right you know <laughs> when it comes to these like little quick clips you know John Fry, he's he's really good at those, like real quick, you know, like pop 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 pop, pop in your face. Oh, <laughs> um, that's a clip. Mom right approved there. nip. Wow, his shirt came down. That was unbelievably quick. You went from nip uh, down to. Let's see. Michelle is saying uh, we are getting wow. trained to appreciate short bursts of. Wow, you're right. You're right. Uh, I don't even care about pictures anymore. Anybody instant, else? I used to like look at a mom's size picture and be like, wow. Now I'm just like, wow. You, yeah. you used to look at my yeah. side pictures. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, do you only work with rap artists? Facebook user says. Uh, no, I do everything. Whatever you want, we can get it done. Uh, I actually just uh, my most recent work, other than rap, was I did the Crates EP. I mix and mastered their whole thing. Nice. Uh, that was really fun. I was there. I was there with Bob from Encore. Uh, he recorded them. I stepped in to help on some recording and got to work on the mix and mastering for the rest of it. And I think I came out pretty cool. Uh, it's kind I, of I, love, awesome. I love doing different type of work, you know. Uh, uh, Facebook rap, user right? says, do you only work with rap artists? I think we are. We're on a loop. Yes, we're on a loop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I have I a think, question. I, I think... have a question for him before I pop out of here, real quick. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you feel like what ways do you find it like easier for you to monetize for doing stuff like that? Do you find just selling beats, or do you find like is there other ways you could do it by branding and other stuff like that? So I learned quickly when I was like 16, 17 years old that selling beats is more of like yeah you make no money so not not gonna be a thing money. unless you get a yeah. placement after placement after placement which at my at my age and talent level wasn't possible so but, i um, asked this question because like i heard from a person that i would consider pretty high in the industry that's just like they they don't even at that level they don't make money from music you know like yeah, they're making no. money on merge they're making it on that kind of stuff so it's like where does the lower level beat maker make his money or is it more or less a hobby you know like can you make yeah, a job so, out of it that, that, so, that can be said across genres though because even yeah you know, rock and stuff, yeah and i know that make, i know that right. but i'm asking him so how does right. in him right. in his position how do right. you find it making like what would you say for the next you 
So for for me, I would say start open up your own studio as young as you possibly can and learn how to engineer tracks. That was my problem yeah. was I became a producer because I liked the sound of music and no vocals. And then I fell in love with the idea that you can make more money as an engineer when I was yeah. 16. So 16 year old me started my own studio in my bedroom and worked my way up to my own place that I was renting out. And now I'm with Encore. And uh, you're also that's, like, that's learning. Really, yeah, you're learning the tools, like you're growing your knowledge of the tools yeah. while you're growing your professionalism. Exactly. I don't know how to say, I think that's the only way in this industry to grow is to grow with your tools. Yeah, so, like, if you're a, mus if you're a musician, if you're not growing with your guitar and your band isn't getting better with your skill, you guys stay, stay you know, so like that's another big thing. It's like, you have to grow with the tools you're, especially like a AL, like video producing. If you're not growing with premiere pro, then you're it's going to pass you by, or you're going to become obsolete. Like that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, definitely. that ties into that too. Okay. Bye. But yeah, that's, bye. that's really what that was, man. I, I was young and beats didn't bring the money that I was looking for as a young want to be rich kid, you know? So mm -hmm. I, opened up my own little engineering gig and that's really like really grew on me and i really perfected that fast and i'm still learning to this day becoming better and better of what i could do and it's just it's finally taking the steps of showing after eight plus it's some you know eight yeah. plus years <laughs> right well that's that's good man that's that's good for you you know i i definitely enjoy your work i enjoy working with you you're very very easy to work with uh, which, is, which is a, definitely a plus. There's a lot of other producers out because he goes to the Y. To the same about yeah. Because he goes to the Y with Johnny. Steaming. Steaming. Me, me and Johnny play racquetball on the basketball court, so people can't play basketball. Yep. <laughs> and so they can't play pickleball. We play racquetball. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Steez, do you uh, you go out to shows? Uh, I do like popping out because every every local show that I do make my appearance to, there is always faces that I love seeing and people that I love listening to perform or just the whole energy involved in coming out to an event in total is awesome when there's a great group of people there to hang out and party with, you know? So nice, nice. I do love coming out to events. What's, what's your favorite venue in the area? Uh, honestly... I really have to give it to the Keystone stage because I threw my first ever show there myself with a uh, uh, videographer, Three False Prophets. Uh, he's a close friend of mine. Me and him did our first little hip hop rap show together and threw some couple local artists together and had a fun night. So honestly, for them to let us have our first ever show, not being anybody as promoters, uh, was, right. was pretty cool. I have to Yeah, the to Keystone that. stage is, is uh, they're, the the venue is awesome uh and very the nice people running. The, yeah, yeah they'll 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 like bend over backwards to, yeah. to make sure that your your production is yeah is they're, they're, they're definitely there for whoever's renting right. the space um, they want you to have an amazing time yeah and they like to get involved too which is which is yeah nice. there's some party animals <laughs> yeah. you know there's there's some venues that you book where the owner like you never you can't see find the owner yeah you know so uh and they couldn't even tell you who's playing or what genre it is so um and uh actually uh bob is also uh chiming in here he's saying that they have a great backline and i i agree with hey well. uh keystone stage sponsored by encore studios no. yeah. oh, oh look at that um uh, there's well, some more details if you look into it you guys will find out well, that's that's awesome because uh, Encore Studios also sponsors the Big Break, which is yeah. awesome. Um, and the Big Break, we're having all of our shows at the Keystone Stage. First time uh, in Big Break history that we're doing all shows in one location in uh, for be awesome. our season. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I think that'll that'll help a lot with uh with our contestants and you know especially now we've got contestants that are coming in from new york and new jersey as well um as here so um 
so uh oh uh, apparently encore actually uh, provided go ahead robin click it <laughs> encore provided keystone a pro back line so yeah there you go um so so speaking of shows you know we have our uh, our weekly segment uh by robin where she goes and tells you all the original shows in NEPA. And I think it's all in NEPA. Maybe a little out of it. Maybe a little. Go for it. Hi, it's Robin with this week's original shows in Northeastern Pennsylvania. On Friday the 17th at the Keystone Stage in Oliphant, Blind Choice with sets from three supporting bands at the Woodlands in Wilkes-Barre, Easy Boys, at Pilger Rub Brewing in Pottsville, Sweet Anne Marie with sets from three supporting artists. On Saturday the 18th at Finnegan's in Scranton, War Ballad and Young Burgo, at the River Street Jazz Cafe in Plains, Justin Mazur and John Morgan Kimmick, at the Creative Compound in Honesdale, Maddie Francoia, at Renegade's Saloon in Newfoundland, Fun with Fire and All Day Special. At Best Cigar Pub in Drums, Fighting Adam. At Tapid Humboldt, Uppercut. At the Warrior Bar in Stroudsburg, the Christian Porter Band. On Wednesday, the 22nd, at the Stonehouse in Carbondale, Lee Ross. On Thursday, the 23rd, at Lehman Mercantile in Dallas, The Tribe. If you want your show featured on the next episode, go to thebigbreak.org forward slash podcast and click the Submit Your Show button. That's all for this week make sure to head to a show spread the word and support independent artists yeah so absolutely support independent artists great job robin um and you know there's uh there's a show that uh she mentioned in there that's in the creative compound in honesdale and uh we had a meeting with uh michael who's the the owner of that place and we're gonna go check it out on monday uh check out some they have their open mic night there so uh you know go you know he's got a bunch of stuff going on we'll see we'll see what happens with that maybe we'll do some uh some of our big break takeovers there as well um so what's what's next for steez what's next well uh recently We've been focusing on getting Encore Studios to the next uh, next level of reopening, and uh, it, it, it's looking really, really good. I'm very excited for our future plans with what we want to do with Encore. Uh, looking forward on getting in there more and more often, hoping to take the music scene in this area in all genres, not just rap, to the next level, hoping people take it more as as more as serious instead of just a hobby and uh, really dedicate their time and their craft as focusing on making music in the studio instead of making music just to make music, you know? Right. Uh, for those who don't know, Encore Studios, what was it, Christmas Day that happened or Christmas Eve? Uh, I, I was, was in Christmas Oklahoma. Day. I think it was somewhere. It was somewhere Christmas around. Day. Yeah. yeah. So, so apparently they had a, uh, a pipe freeze and burst yeah. um, and caused a whole lot of damage. Um, and they've been kind of, you know, flying in a, in a, in a, in a circle. In a yeah. Loop. A bit, we were in a big circle yeah. for a while getting uh, everything mm-hmm. fixed and renovated. Stuff. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and and like I was saying, uh, when we first started the show, I went and uh, last weekend, I think, uh, mm-hmm. to Encore, and I'm really digging what they're doing, what what you guys are doing with the place. Looks cool. um, those Looks floors really cool, are awesome. Man. That couch is great. Yeah. The couch you is know. like you can fit like couch 20 people. So good. It's, it's a big it's, slumber party. Yeah. <laughs> it's damn. It's a good couch. Good. <laughs> nice it's couch. Room yeah. for activities. Yeah. Fun yoga in there. Fun activities. Fun activities. Um, right on. So, any words of wisdom uh, from Steez? I know we kind of went over it a little bit earlier, but just like overall, you know, you've got somebody out there, um, whether it be uh, a musician that, you know, needs beats um, or a musician who wants to make beats you know like like what kind of overall uh 
I would say for uh, someone that wants to make beats, I would definitely say focus on the sound you want to create before you start making beats. That's that was the biggest thing was I was I was very, very that that excelled me to grow in my my talent level as fast as I did was I wanted to create a certain sound that I knew was unique to me. So every time I tried to make a beat, it was easy because I knew the sound I was already reaching for. I wasn't trying to reach to create something new as soon as I like was there testing new uh, samples or one shots or anything, you know? So the biggest thing is focus on what you want to make before you actually learn how to make it. That, 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 that's definitely a really big play in it. Definitely a big play in it because I see a lot of people they'll start making music or start making beats and trying to become a producer. And then they're, a producer for every genre and every type of artist and they can't find their sound and their quality. Yeah. Their quality isn't up to par compared to if they just stuck to one unique sound. Right. So it's, it's kind of like Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. Right. Like you really need to lock oh, in on, on you. Ho hone in on, yeah. Hone in on your style and your, your sound. Definitely. Right. Definitely. Yeah. No, I'd say I'd say the same thing for for filmmaking, you know, but I'll, I'll take it one step further and I'll say that, uh, you know, before you can break the rules, you got to learn the rules and you got to be able to adhere to the rules. And then once yeah. you understand the rules and why they're there, then yeah. you can do things like like break the wall and, you know, do, do all you, these you can, you can do whatever you want. You can right. create and there's no boundaries or limits yeah that, um, was, that was huge yeah um no definitely definitely um so how can somebody uh get a hold of you then if they want to want to work with you uh luckily my branding is super simple you just search up at steez pa on anything on google and you'll find all my social medias everything i'm linked to just search me up at steez pa nice nice um, I, got, I got a dip set. I got the blog. DJ. Oh, uh, hey, if you're looking for something to do tonight, Johnny is uh, heading to the bog. He's going to DJ there. So go say Make hi to friends. Johnny. All right, love you guys. Me. I'll see you. See you, you know. Ds. Um, So, yeah, you know, I was, I was thinking while we were watching that other video, I was uh, mm -hmm. thinking about, like, somebody asked uh if you work with only rap or mm -hmm. hip-hop or you know yeah um and then i started thinking of of other local bands or or other bands that we know that we've worked with uh mm -hmm. and uh suicide puppets came to mind okay now for those who don't know suicide puppets uh they're metal they're heavy they're dark and they're industrial right so they've got I, I don't want to say a backtrack, but they've got like effects that they yeah. play, you know? So, so would you be <clears throat> like, is that something that, that you would, you do? Yeah, anything, have uh, anything you can, you can contact me directly on any of my socials to a direct message and get to me at whatever you would like. And whether it's a, a full beat, I have rates for full beats on leases, exclusive rights, just uh, any type of track outs, anything. Or you could, like like you were saying, you could hire me for per session, per, per song. I have rates in play for all of that. So anything you need me for, uh, yeah, you just give me a call or message me direct on any social media and we'll set it up. Yeah. Um, and, and one more question. Um as a filmmaker, I'm wondering if you have ever uh, done or considered uh, doing like a sound bed or like a music bed for either a short or uh, a full feature film. Uh, yeah, I've I've actually been very very interested in trying to make a either whether it's a just score. Yeah, whether whether it's just for like a, like 
something for scenes or something for a whole a whole film like you're saying or either mixing the vocals for a film there's always like there's always things that I'm looking to expand towards and try something new or just give my talent to somebody that needs it in their in their product you know uh do you do dolby you do 5.1 or uh, no everything yeah. everything i would do would be everything i would do would be raw audio trackouts i got you okay so yeah. right on um so we have not heard any of your produced tracks yet but we're about to right so before i close out and let you introduce the closing video um if you're out there you're listening uh a few things please share uh this podcast check the other ones out like subscribe uh do all those things that you know it takes you one click and believe it or not that one click helps us a whole whole lot uh, so we would really, really appreciate that. Um, and we've got uh, the Big Break contest, uh, which we still have signups for. If you go to um, the Big Break group, Facebook group, uh, in there, there's a video uh, that's a like a, a one-hour Q&A that we discuss the entire uh, contest from start to finish. Um, and we will be doing another live Q&A uh, roughly two weeks before uh, signups close, just for any final questions out there. Um, make sure you follow Encore Studios, Steez, uh, over here. This yeah, side. here I am. Um, and uh, all right, Steez, so tell us about what we're, uh, what we're closing up with and what the video is. Yes. Your, okay. your other thing that you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, what we'll be showing now is I put some clips together of my, uh, what, what people do know me for in this area is music, but what a lot of people around not in this area and in other states and across the country know me for racing. And the type of racing I do is called uh, sprint car racing, dirt track racing, uh, but specifically in this video is 600 cc micro sprint racing, and uh, this is just a little race that I had this later last season. Uh, it was a nice win, um, good racing. So you you guys will see all the highlights in it. Uh, it's it's definitely a different craft to, to the normal people out in this area. They don't really uh, are accustomed or even know of what this is but um what's which which one's your car so so people can so when when this when this video comes along uh you'll see on the first clip i will be the third car it's a black pink and blue uh car with the number two s on it on the side you'll see and, and i start and, 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 and can people uh how uh can businesses out there get their logo can they sponsor you and and get their logo yes. on there how's that so, work so my cars we uh we race basically from the beginning of march middle of march all the way until end of october roughly and that's across from tracks in new york tracks in new jersey tracks in pennsylvania uh, we do just tri-state uh racing we do plan to go on some uh Carolina shows uh, next season, and this just this year, I was like I was saying, I was out in Oklahoma for one of the biggest races, if not the biggest races uh, for our division. Uh, it's called the Tulsa Shootout out, out in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, we race with all the best drivers, NASCAR, F1, people from out of the country, in the country. Uh, that was a really fun thing. So if anyone wants to look to sponsor their brand and uh sponsor me uh we have packages to put on the car starting from stickers to show on the car just the size of your phone to the whole car if you want uh price ranges from anywhere in those packages just direct message me uh, on any of my socials or if you want to direct message me at mikey smith racing uh you can get me there and contact me about sponsorships but uh, yeah, this video, uh, 
basically just going over a nice highlighted race, some good racing, and I have a couple of my beats in the background. So if you guys want to tune in, you're more than welcome, and hope you guys enjoy. All right. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I appreciate you. you being on here. Hang out till after the video. And uh, we end the broadcast, and, and we'll, uh, we'll chit chat some more. So without further ado, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you.
Глотался, курица тился, 